guys and today we are going to talk about the how to embed your LinkedIn page post feed into your website using the Sociable Kit and for the website builder that we are going to focus on is the website builder called WordPress and so in here we are going to use our Sociable Kit uh, company named uh, LinkedIn post and going straight to the tutorial we're going to the Sociable Kit website and we can always sign up if you don't have your uh, account it's always free and you can log in right here if you click this button and in this screen you can always uh, log into your email address and password so uh, we log in and we wait and today you can see here the uh, creation of widget feeds and Actually, in the top right of your screen is a create widget button, which can always lead you to this page. So, uh, we're going to search here, LinkedIn, a LinkedIn page post. So here we can see the LinkedIn page post. We are going to click it, and we uh, does it will require us to put our username. So what is our username? So we go to our LinkedIn. Uh, page actually the LinkedIn page is your URL so we just have to copy it and we are going back to the screen and we are going to paste it in this text box and we are going to click next and as you can see here it says syncing LinkedIn page post so it says sync in usually takes a few minutes but may take up to 12 hours so uh, usually the data or, or your content of your LinkedIn page uh, di uh, differ if your information is really huge and it will take up to 12 hours and it says here we will send you an email once your LinkedIn page post widget is ready so we're just going to wait and if you have any problems we, you can always chat with the support here and we are going to wait now and we are gonna see if it will sync up and we are back and as you can see here the LinkedIn page is already synced up so as you can see here the post and everything is in here so if we truly want to confirm if the post here is the same as the LinkedIn post as you can see here so we can see here the Vimeo users the site Jabber reviews the how to embed Google business photos in the uh, the five star reviews so if we go to our link page everything is the same so the video the the five star review is here too so everything that is in here is the same as in our LinkedIn page so going to the left side of our screen so you can see here the customizations the moderations of how you want uh, your uh, LinkedIn page to feel like so in, in this uh, theme theme tab is a tab that has every single uh, combination of themes or so colors for example I want to use this Mabait theme. Oh, it's, uh, we can always, uh, uh, for example, I can use this Maayos theme. So if I save changes, it should change the look and feel of the page. So as you can see here, the color scheme of the theme that I use is changed into th this. So everything uh, based on what your company is so for example if i have or, or if i own the youtube company i should probably select the theme that relates to the color scheme of my company so for example something red and in in my case as a social uh, in a social book kit company our color scheme revolves around white and blue so i will search something the same as you can see here the color scheme here is the same as uh, how I wanted it and if I click uh, save changes it should change into that 
and everything is the same so everything is the post is the same nothing changes after the same changes nothing uh, out of place and the color scheme that I wanted is how it should be displayed so next if we go to the profile uh, tab we can always check or uncheck these check boxes so for example I want to uncheck this and say changes it will hide the profile picture of my page so it's you can see here it hides so if I check this again it will it should be back again and it is back so you can always uh, uncheck or check every checkbox here if you want based uh, on your preference and in this post uh, tab you can always change the post that you want to display so in this post count tab I will type for example 5 I only want 5 posts to be displayed in my LinkedIn page post so if I save there should be 5 so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so everything is how I wanted it so good and we will now go to the color th tab so in here actually the theme tab in the color tab is very different so the theme tab as we uh, talked about earlier is a color uh, palette that is already uh, built in or already pre-selected or this is the d default scheme tabs that you can always choose so in color scheme or in color tab if the color theme is not in the color tab or the or the color theme is not in the theme tab you can always manually change the color of everything so for example i want to change the color of the background so for example i want it to be uh, i want it to be red so if i save changes it should turn to red the background and it says here here yeah it's actually not red it's actually brown so i th i thought i click red it I, and turns out i click uh brown so if i go back again it should change back and here we can see everything works so you can also change the font the link the post of the background of the post so this white this box if you can see here the link the hover everything can be changed so next is the font tab so in here i can always change the tab for example my personal favorite century gothic so if i change this font should be century gothic now and as we can see here everything is changed so everything is turned into century gothic font so i can always change the font size of the profile username and the default size of the font and in the buttons tab I can always change the color of my buttons so for example I want it to be this color then it should turn to that color and it changed to the color that I wanted so everything so if everything is how you wanted it or if everything is how you like to display is how it is if everything is how you like it to be displayed you can always go to that top uh, right of your screen to this button uh, embed on website so if we click this this will take us to this uh, screen so this will uh, ask you what website builder do you want it to be embedded to so in our case I want it to be in WordPress so in here I can already see the WordPress in the uh, preselection and if you can see your uh, website builder you can always search it to the search bar so for example I can see my website builder I will type WordPress so in here I can press web WordPress so in this screen so in actually in this screen is we can see the step-by-step -step instruction on how to embed your how to embed your uh, LinkedIn page post into the WordPress so we're going to follow this exactly as how this instruction tells me to do so first I'm going to copy the code 
So I'm going to choose the code. In our case, I'm going to choose JavaScript and copy this code. So now we are going to the WordPress and in here, pages and add new. And in the title, I like it to be named LinkedIn page post there. And in here, uh, we're going to add a block. We're going to click this plus sign and we are going to search for custom HTML. So here, so sometimes it's not there. So you can always search it uh, in here. So custom HTML, here it is. I'm going to click it. And in here, we are going to paste the code that we copied. So that is everything you need to do, actually. It's re really, really easy. And all we have to do now is to publish it. So we are going to publish it. And see here, we it says the page is now published and we can view it. And it also says here that we can view it. So if we click this, the page will be now viewed. So as you can see here, everything that I changed in the customization tab everything is changed in here so before i changed it to five posts so in here one two three four and five right and now the font is the font that i choose that i chose which is the central gothic and the color of the buttons is how i wanted it so now we are going to test if this works so if you click this this should redirect us to the LinkedIn page of our company. So everything works and that is it actually. Everything is uh, how I wanted it and I can now use this page to uh, f for my website or for my business. And that is all for today. Uh, that is how you embed your LinkedIn page post using Sociable Kit to the website builder called WordPress. So if any of you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if any if this tutorial helped you a lot please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and you guys can always uh, press the uh, notification uh, button if you want any more updates on how to do uh, to, uh, or or some tutorials that you want to see and you can always guys uh, you can always uh, comment down below the suggestions that you want to see that tutorial that you want to see and you can always and if this video convince you to use sociable kit uh, you can guys sign up and sign uh, try our seven day premium trial which is a free plan yes you heard me right it is free so uh, in here in the sociable and here if you if the seven uh, uh, seven premium seven day premium trial is and has ended you can always decide if you want to subscribe so if you want to continue uh, to use our service and product you can always um, subscribe here so thank you for listening and i hope everything is uh, understood and it helped you guys so thank you guys and see you again until the, the next video